Hi, this is Miss Lisa from Ficklestein Memorial Library. Our craft today is an ice sculpture balloon. In your bag, you will receive a balloon, a balloon clip, a light, a tea light, and everyone will receive a different color food coloring. The first thing we're gonna do is fill our balloon with water. So I'm gonna take my balloon, turn off the water. I'm going to put the balloon, first thing I'm gonna do is take my balloon, wrap it around the nozzle, hold on tight, and then fill it with water. And you can fill your balloon to however comfortable or big you feel you want it to be. I'm going to try to fill my balloon up as much as with as much water as I can. It should take about two minutes to fill the balloon up, maybe longer, depending on what size balloon that you have. Then you turn off the water, squeeze the top of the balloon, pull it down. Everyone can see my balloon. Then I twist it and put the clip on. So there the balloon looks like this. Okay, you take your balloon that's full of water and you put it in your freezer and let it freeze for a day. And when you come back the next evening, the balloon should be hard and look like this. Okay. So now, like I said, you have a nice big frozen balloon. You can ask help from your mother or father or whoever is in the house with you doing this. First thing you do is take off your balloon clip. Then you're going to cut the top of the balloon with a scissor and we're going to start peeling back and taking off that balloon. You might have to cut a little bit more down and then start peeling. And it should come off pretty easy. And this is kind of like a science experiment also. And a balloon illumination craft. Because when you look at your spear in the balloon. How can I show you this? In this crystal it looks beautiful really nice came out really really cool so then what you're going to do is you're going to get a bowl and put my ice sculpture in the bowl because it's cold and I'm going to bring it back to my kitchen table and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do then when you look at it you can see all little defects in the crystal, the water chips, the the ice that's developed, the little holes and everything. Now, the reason why I gave you food coloring, because I, this is an afterthought, I thought if you take a little food coloring and put it inside your balloon and then do put the water in there and it freezes, whatever color food coloring you put inside your balloon will be the color of your ice sculpture. With your ice sculpture, you're getting a, a, a light. So you can take the light and put it under or near your ice sculpture. I'm going to turn off the light and you can see what I mean. So if you put a light, like a phone light behind it, you get this great illumination of this ice crystal. And just imagine how pretty it'll be 
will use your food coloring. Or if you use just the light that comes with it, it will look more like this. Ooh, totally dark, right? No. <laughs> oh, here's my light. Okay, so everyone can see the little light in there. Your light is a little stronger than mine. Once you add your food coloring, these are all the beautiful color combinations you can get with your illuminating ice sculpture. This is like really a cool project. Pretty cool, right? Okay, this is Miss Lisa from Finkelstein Memorial Library. I hope everyone enjoyed making their sculpture and maybe you can chip it. You have other ideas. Please send me all videos that you have made with your ice sculpture and let me see what beautiful things you have done with it.